Hey guys, it's Kate and Merry Christmas. I am coming to you from Christmas morning and I'm gonna be filming two videos back to back in my YouTube history or YouTube channel history tradition. I have filmed a what I got for Christmas video. So I'm going to do that today. I'm gonna to start this first part off with what I got in my stocking. And then if you would like to see what I got as actual presents under the tree, you'll have to tune in for the next video. But like I said, we're gonna start with what I got in my stocking this morning. So starting off with this fun snowman pen, my family and I went to the Polar Express ice exhibit at Gaylord Palms. That video is already up, so if you would like to check that out, that's linked down below for you. But I saw this at one of the shops and my mom went back and got it. She was very sly. So it is just this huge cotton ball snowman with these sweet little pink sunglasses and a red and white candy cane stripe pen and I'm really excited to take this into work. I am a teacher, so I like having really fun pens on my desk. So when my students help me grade assignments, they get to use my fun pens and they really enjoy it. Um, I found these little truffula tree pens at the dollar spot at Target over the summer and those have been a huge hit. The next thing I got is this Disney by Rebecca Hook and it's actually not in the box because I am wearing it. It is this sweet rose gold Minnie Mouse ring. Hopefully that is in focus and you can see that. But I pulled it out and immediately put it on. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect, really sweet Disney touch. Um, and I have a feeling I'm just going to be wearing this every single day. So very, very excited about that. Next thing I got was also for my work. It is a beautiful papyrus jeweled frame and it fits a two by three photo. My mom thought this would be perfect to just have a little photo of the family or my husband and I and put it on my desk and she was absolutely right. It's just the perfect size and I, I'm i just totally um, caught by surprise. Uh, I did not ask for this and that's why I usually love stocking gifts because you don't traditionally ask for small stocking gifts so generally everything in your stocking is a wonderful surprise. So super happy with that. Next, I have quite a plethora of hair ties, which I am not mad about because I love keeping some in my bag, my work bag, keeping some in my daily backpack, um, my little lounge fly backpack, because I do not carry traditional like crossbody purses anymore. I pretty much just have lounge flies. Um, and then of course I've got some in my bathroom while I'm getting ready. So the first set I got is this little elastic set that has um, the Magic Kingdom symbols all over it. So Mickey bars, Minnie's hat, Maleficent's dragon. Then I've got this really fun gold sparkly one with a little Mickey emblem, a best day ever, and a red velvet, which is my favorite, with a little castle emblem there. So absolutely love these. Also got a set of um, rose gold mini um, hair elastics. These will be perfect to throw in your bag. And I actually just recently had to buy myself a pair of hair ties, um, or not a pair, like a little set of hair ties at Animal Kingdom. My husband and I were there and I had my hair in braids using the little clear elastics and the elastics snapped on both of my braids. So um, I ended up buying myself some. So you can just never have too many. And then of course I am definitely a scrunchy girl. So these are the, um, I always say this brand wrong. I think it's scoonchy, scunchy, however you say that. Um, but I'm in love with this color palette, this blush pink, this mauve um, purple, and then the burgundy of course. So loved all of those. Then I was really excited by this. Um, I have been saying I've wanted a reusable utensil set as well as a cloth um, to carry around in my backpack. So I have a reusable utensil set. This is what the kit looks like. And then you open it up and it is a metal set. So you've got a fork, a knife, a spoon, 
two different kinds of metal straws and the straw cleaner, as well as chopsticks, which I don't think is um, very traditional for reusable utensil sets. So this is very cool if I'm in the Epcot Pavilion, um, or if I'm in Epcot in the China Pavilion or Japan Pavilion and I feel like being adventurous, um, I have my own chopsticks. So they all fit perfectly in this little kit and it slides back into its case and it is perfect. I'm so excited to put this in my backpack and be a little more green. Um, so super excited about that. And then the last couple things I got here in the toe of my stocking are some makeup items. Definitely have been more into makeup. I just did a whole review of the Frozen ColourPop collection. Again, I'll link that um, down below if you haven't seen that. But I'm definitely an amateur. I like having fun with it when I know I'm getting pictures taken on holidays, sometimes when we go out to parks. Um, but on the day-to-day, -day, I definitely still don't wear it makeup every day but really fun so the first thing I got uh, that I pulled out first was this little Too Faced major must-haves makeup set that includes a mascara waterproof liquid eyeliner face primer and a blush duo and what's really cute about this set is it is definitely uh, a travel size they're so small they're so cute so here is just to give you a whoop, reference here Here's the eyeliner, so small. Here is the face primer, and then the Better Than Sex mascara. Tiny, 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 but I think perfect for your bag. And then look at this blush duo, look how small it is. It's just so cute. Um, and what's awesome is it smells like apricot, so it smells really good. I'm really excited. I think this kind of gold color would be a better highlight for me, but I think this blush is going to be beautiful. So I got those, and I'm very grateful, very excited. Put it all back in the box because I want to keep it pristine, or try to keep it pristine anyway. Then I opened up this set, which is the Too Faced Christmas Party Essentials the Better Than Sex Mascara, and the Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. So I'm going to pull those out to show you as well. So I have a tiny Better Than Sex Mascara as well as a full size. The packaging on this is everything. It is a sleek metallic pink bottle. And the brush is very voluminous, very full. Super excited to try that. I feel like I'm a little shaky. I don't know if it's because I've only had... Um, two donuts and I think it's around 10 o'clock we've been opening presents all morning um, and then here is the oh and what's interesting it says the color actually is called honey please yeah okay so the full name of this product is the twinkle twinkle liquid glitter eyeshadow but the shadow color itself is called honey please interesting that is a very long uh, brand name but there is the bottle, and here is what it looks like, just a doe foot applicator. Um, I did swatch this on my hand when I opened it, and it is beautiful. It would be beautiful on its own if you want to build up the color, or if you want to do just kind of a light wash to add some glitter to your eyes over your color, I think would be perfect as well. So very excited for both of those. Last thing I got was the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette. This smells like hot buttered rum. The back says, get cozy and gorgeous with this hot buttered rum scented palette of rich coppery neutrals that will keep you feeling warm and fuzzy all year long. Um, definitely a neutral palette girl. The Anna and Elsa collection from ColourPop, although I love it. My gosh, I love it. It is very, um, I'm trying to cover up the mirror, but I think I'm covering up the palette. Uh, it is very colored, um, very specific colors. So you know, definitely if you are wearing those burgundies, those um, navy blues, that's appropriate. But for most day to day, I feel like this would be more universal. Um, and the color names are funny. One's called Whipped Cream, Bottoms Up, Born to Rum, Spiked, Vanilla Extra, Warm and Fuzzy, Sin, S-I-N, Amen, and Buttered Rum. So 
absolutely love that. Um, but that was everything that I got in my stocking this year. I absolutely loved everything and I'm so, so grateful. Our stockings this year are also new. Um, we had them personalized from an Etsy shop. I will link that down below as well. And everyone in the family got one. The pattern on the stocking is different for everyone. So of course I chose a pink um, floral pattern because I feel like that is very representative of me. But my mom has a blue snow pattern and my husband has, I think, like a green uh, kind of winter pattern as well. So they're fun. I absolutely love the fact that they are personalized and handmade. Um, just adds a little bit of extra love to them. And that is everything. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love doing these videos every year because I just love sharing. Um, it's just fun. It's fun to watch. I feel like I'm going to be watching these kinds of videos for the rest of the day today. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.